Alright, hello everyone. This is uh, another game between Faust and I, Ranked. Everyone's favorite 1v1 map. Uh, as you can see, he's using Eastern Bloc. I'm using USA. I'll go fast forward it, get to the beginning quickly. <laughs> and then I'll go look at what gets deployed. A lot of the times, fighting comes over here and over here, depending on how you want to do it. It's been nice not having to deal with helicopter rushes. Okay. Game started. He's buying a mortar at the start. I'm bringing recon. Probably bring one over here, two over there. M1A2 with Bradley's to fire support from range. Like over there. With M1A2 over here, just control right here. Bunch of recon. He's bringing a DAP just in case. Uh, I don't want him to drop SAS because he was using Commonwealth the last game. I'm bringing uh, Super M60, 3 CS's, and uh, 2 Smalls. So the Smalls will be coming up here with the M60's and the CS's just to fight infantry, really wreck infantry and vehicles. Whereas he got, let's drop 2 for AA, 3 ROMs. So that's uh, pretty much planes he wants to kill, which he saw me use seed and everything. So he's bringing a lot of AA. He has 2 Modernas on the field at the start and a lot of decent infantry at the start. So it's a very interesting opener. I like that he's uh, bringing a mortar again. Probably going to use smoke. So my dap. I'm bringing daps because I don't want him to drop SAS anywhere. But um, he has a strop 2. And I have a dap. You know how that goes, I'm sure. Never ends well for the helicopter. Okay. So this is an LSTR squad over here. Same here. I'm bringing Matt 1A2 over here instead because he actually pushed straight through. Dap trying to take that out. Eventually will. LSTR squad's over there. And it's uh, taking out my Dap. Yep. Okay. So he has a Snezka just to control stuff from coming over. So he pretty much focused all his points over here and I'm going to try to contain him. SPW 80s do not do well against Bradleys, that's why I brought Bradleys, but the Moderna will be able to fire on them. So let's take a look. Moderna took one, two missiles. It looks like the damage was calculated for the second missile a little bit early. And, uh, yep, everything hit. Three hits brought it down to one life, so that's gonna push it back. And I was wrong, he used one Moderna, one Wilk. 125 point? Yeah, 120 point. So my Bradleys firing on it, trying to push him back. So far they've been doing really good work, I like them. And they missed that time, that's okay. Two LSTRs versus Riflemen's not going to go well for my team. The Wilk finishing off my Bradley. It blowing up right before the shot. Harrier comes in, takes out the squads. Interesting. Twin Huey I brought around because I don't want him bringing shit over. He has an LSTR squad over here as well. Bunch of screws in. Pretty decent squads. Much better than Rifleman in D. But, you know, fire support will make things better. So I'm like, hmm, he didn't really do anything on this side. I saw a shit ton of points on that. So I'm moving forward, letting the vehicles lead. Because these Humvees don't matter, the CSs matter. I land the twin Huey. I notice what he's doing. I want to keep my Abrams alive because he has that Sierra two missiles can be fired and uh, do some good damage. Fire and forget. Good range. It's fast. 120 point helicopter uh, plane. I'm on A2 just to scare him. Just going back and forth. Buying a CV because uh, I figure he did too and uh, we're kind of stable right now. His ROMs fired and killed my uh, 80 point rocket pod plane that killed his SDR squad. So now I know Planes were probably not a good idea. I found a CV with the Twin Huey, but I'm going to lose it to his auto cannon over here and the SPW-80. It's interesting to see how many of those he has. So now I bring a CS over there and two of them over here and we're going to move forward. The Wilk is firing at my guys. I'm bringing the A-Rooms up. It's probably going to wreck it. There we go. So he is starting the cap. He has his guys there. I'm bringing my Humvees over because I don't know what's over there. I'm bringing a Vulcan because I don't want him to bring good units uh, by the helicopter over. 
So the Humvees survived here, so they're safe, so I moved them over there. Super M60 is going to move up, Spawn and the CSs are moving together. I want them to control this area right here. LSTR versus Rangers V150 and the Super M60. It's quite fascinating to see what happens. RPG number one. I should have backed off so that the RPG hits the V150, but um, nope, I was too lazy. I was watching and just being like, oh my guys will panic, no. Not enough. I killed two ROMs with the M1A2. The whole idea was getting a unit here was so that I can get side shots while it engages my Abrams. Well, screws in to kill the Ranger squad again. I believe that uh, I lost the Rifleman squads too, but I've been bringing up units. Um, so this is a, an infantry favored map because of all the forest and how short the distances are, so I really am at a disadvantage because I am playing USA. But, if you look at what's going on, I'm actually doing quite well. I control most of the map. So I'm like, oh, that's Nesca didn't get enough kills. Let me send this over. There's a ROM coming out. He hasn't actually used his mortar, which is interesting. He resupplied his Moderna. He doesn't have a fob, and I do. But as you can tell, I haven't even touched it. Ranger is taking out the vehicles. I'm trying to get my Abrams to stay alive. I don't want it to die. Moderna takes a shot, kills a Ranger squad. This uh, auto cannon, no, this is a heat round gun, so it still can kill the Humvees pretty easily. I'm bringing an MBT-70 and a Super M60 to fight units because MBT-70 will handle auto cannons and infantry. Super M60 will handle auto cannon vehicles and just help out fire support. I'm 1A2 Abrams taking damage, trying to back away, keep my rangers alive. Small squad killed the transport for the LSTR, but did not get the AA, and I notice he has a helicopter. So I get a dap almost immediately. I don't know that this LSTR squad is there. This Cobra squad moving up, because all these infantry, I just want to kill it. LSTR takes one shot, hits, and I still don't see him, so that sucks. And the Cobra's been missing. And then eventually hits and dies. Okay. Good to know, right? In the Twitch chat, we got a guy saying Bravo doesn't get much action, and that is true, and for one reason, at least on my perspective, it takes forever for me to get infantry there. If I want to fight it, I'll flank it, and I'd rather flank it if I have to. Dap fighting LSTR. LSTR is probably going to get a missile off on him. Complete miss. Okay. Lucky me. I didn't actually realize that. My tanks are just uh, screening for what's over here. Chaparral trying to keep away. I don't want him to flank. Um, actually, there was a vehicle that came down. Yeah, with special Jadonotsky and the uh, CS and all this gun weaponry fired, took it out. But the Moderna's over there now, so gotta run away. Got a dap. I have. I knew that he had the MI-25, so I'm just bringing the DAP over and just let it sit. Have a Vulcan. Just have Vulcans around to protect my CVs. Have an infantry squad, because I need to make sure that I kill these guys, so I move up with it. Eventually, I'll grow, grow a pair and move up with all this, but I still want to focus over here, keep them away from my plus two. All this firepower is going to get unleashed on that guy, that squad. The DAP missed all three out of the four missile, well, two out of the four actually. And eventually I just tell it to attack. And autocannon versus uh, Yak B. Autocannon should win, especially when the guy's panicked. So now he's smoking, so I have an idea that he's going to start to move out. And here we go, we're going to start moving up, small, with a CS, pretty much wreck infantry and some vehicles. Only a tank would be able to hold it off, but I don't think that he had a tank, so I was just like, eh, this is about time to go. 
bring up all my CSs and just move up. So the KPVT is pretty good in a forest. Um, if you just put something right next to it, it'll pretty much kill it almost instantly. It fires 20 within a couple within a, fra a second or two, and uh, at close range, 20 rounds of this will do a lot of damage. So I killed his uh, small LSTR squad. That LSTR squad kills my one helicopter. Jeez, that guy's strong. And then I'm like, oh no, get the last guy out. Okay. So he's still repairing. He got one AA piece. He killed my CS with his Moderna. Got Rifleman versus Special Jedinotsky, and just not a good thing for me. My Abrams got repaired. Did not turn on fuel. So now this is moving up. I'm like, okay. So those moved up. I gotta bring the tank over because nothing's happening there. Keeping the CS back. Small has killed the vehicles, not much else. Bringing a CV up to Gulf because I control most of that area. I did not see anything come around. I had a pretty good idea that nothing would. It's generally a good idea not to resupply these two th types of units that don't do anything that are expected to die. Rifleman versus Motrutsen. Rifleman's gonna get dominated. Super M60 doing some work. Small is trying to move up. Forcing him to relocate these guys up here instead of in front. So now I can push forward and pretty much uh, uncontested march and attack. So I actually like having the MBT-70. Moderna took out the MBT-70, probably? No. I don't really know what the MBT-70 just took out. But uh, probably was not AA. Sierra coming in sees tanks and uh, we'll see what it goes for. I don't think that he sees the M1A2. He might see the MBT-70 shortly, but he's trying to get a shot on side. And I noticed him like, oh god, gotta keep the LVTP alive. I bring in the AH-1E Cobra because I know he has no AA, like around up here, because it would have moved away. Usually you would move AA around if you lost units that protected it. I see the tank, so I'm just like, eh, let me just stay away. There's an MBT-70 still. And so he hits my Super M60 up there, which is fine. The Rangers are here, he has two resupply vehicles, and he's bought another Moderna. My guys are moving up. I have a twin Huey, I want to flank around again. CSs are killing the infantry, that's about it. That's all I really needed him to do. My Cobra can kill these uh, auto cannon units now. Pretty much it's protected from AA over here by this mountain. That's the whole point. I want him to, yeah, just take out everything that it can. US Marines losing five guys to kill four LSTR. Five guys down to four guys. That's uh, pretty crazy. Okay, so I know there's a Moderna. I just figured out that the Strop moved into position to kill it, so that was good relocation. Moderna takes the first shot at the vehicle, which is the whole point, and now I get a free shot on a Moderna. I'm like, oh, let me back up. And then uh, he buys a Sierra, or the old one, the one that he already had. Killed it. I'm trying to back out, but this squad over here will spot it and uh, pretty much uh, guarantee the kill on my M1A2. Yeah, that was painful, because I knew he had a Moderna. So my rangers trying to get him inside. Huey coming up. Oh, okay. LSTR is going to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> That's one way to learn that there's an LSTR squad there. And... Ooh, miss. And then flies right over the special jet Jedernotsky. <laughs> okay. So now he's smoking the Moderna, because he doesn't want to lose it to ATGM planes, which he knows I could have. I'm bringing my AA up. I should bring it up to here about. He has four monsters and squads coming up. And I don't have that much to handle it. There's a ROM. My Humvees are there. And uh, trying to shoot at it with the machine guns. ASF coming out. I 
Thunderbolt is in a bad position, so I evac it. So here's the thing, there's only two missiles, and even if they both hit, it still won't kill it. Sierra, gonna try to hit this M60. I see that, I'm backing out, I don't want it to die. So, uh, you gotta find something else. Chaparral's moving up, and uh, this was ignorant of me, I should have known. I should have known better. So he's gonna go dive right for it. Is it spotted by the special Jedernowski? Okay. So he has smoke, I can't really see anything. Although I still see it because the rangers have line of sight this way. I bring up Super M60s for the side. Because I know that he's not really doing stuff over here, he's trying to fight to get Foxtrot. It's really important that he controls here. MI-25 over here with a special Jedernotski. Jedernotki, okay, I've been saying ski. Saying it all wrong. Strop leading the way, never what you want to do. And he loses his AA. ASF coming out. Probably because his Moderna is out. US Marines take out that SPW. I bought an M1A2 because I need something to handle that Moderna. I'm just trying to keep stuff alive. Super M60s fighting that Moderna, not a good thing, so I'm backing out. My tanks are all alive, thankfully. Doing a good job keeping this stuff alive. And uh, he moves his vehicle up and we take shots. Take it out. Let's bring in a helicopter with infantry. And I have no AA and he knows it, so I bring up this Vulcan eventually. So this infantry squad I should be trying to hide, because the hind will wreck it. And I want to go back here to protect, don't let them come over. I brought an infantry squad to protect there, made sure that there's AA, clear out whatever comes this way. Looks like a big fight's getting ready. So he doesn't want me getting flank shots from here, which is fine by me, because I don't really have much there. I have my M1A2 coming up. LSTR killed my LVTP. Grenade launcher, poor guy. He has Moderna out, so he wants to get his AA net up, which is good. Generally what you want to do. So MI25, I have an M1A2, I'm just like, oh no. Don't let it use its missile pod, rocket pods on it. So I bring a DAP up, because I need something fast. The Vulcan's moving up and eventually starts firing. So my Abrams does not get critical too heavily. Thunderbolt's on the field. Wanted to attack it, but running away now because the MiG is coming on it. And it hits only once. Does a decent amount of damage. Super M60 getting hit by the Moderna. I don't think I realized it. Takes it out. MBT-70 takes out one unit. I'm like, oh god, get back into cover. This drop coming in, probably gonna try to fire support. But uh, my Moderna, well, his Moderna is killing my stuff. I'm on A2 moving up together. Something killed the uh, light vehicle. MBT 70 moving up, trying to help out. So I'm trying to scare that Moderna by bringing a lot of units over. And we kill the Motrusen squad because it's in fire, so it's a lot less effective. MBT 70 not helping. There we go, now it's gonna help. Takes a shot good damage. Moderna is going to probably kill that MBT-70. Yep. Faust uh, decides to buy a CV at this time because he thinks he's stabilized enough and he kind of did. So he can't push this way and I was afraid of that because I was like, oh god, I know he brought stuff and I didn't kill it. I wonder what it is. So I start bringing units over here. The Sierra is on the field because he knows uh, I have an M1A2 on the field still. And uh, this special Jedernotki squad can spot him. He has one ASF and one Sierra. His Moderna is killing a Ranger squad, and my other Rangers is moving up. <laughs> Pretty much they'll only do one damage. 
to front, so I'm pretty much losing these guys for free, which is never good. Okay, so his planes are over there. I'm just going to hold over here. He's in a good position. Okay, so let me slow this down. I'm like, eh, my block will be able to kill that uh, semi-active plane, and it does. So because it's so high ranked, I think that it was uh, the veteran C1, so the higher up. So my block focused that, and then went for the Sierra. Yeah. So that's the bad thing about having a semi-active uh, ASF. Once you're stunned, you can't do anything. Whereas Fire and Forget will still be able to... The missiles will still fire, and they won't uh, lose guidance. Which semi-active would lose guidance. So now, I'm like, oh, okay, I own the skies now. Fantastic. So, bring up the infantry so that I can push across. I'm probably going to buy a CV soon. He bought a CV for Foxtrot, thinking that he can hold it, that he did a lot of damage to me. But, um, shortly I will show him that, no, you didn't really do too much. Especially after killing those two planes. I'm one A2, gonna move it up, try to kill these vehicles. He has an ATGM squad. He really needed that a lot earlier. Would have probably helped out for that, but and here we go, he's gonna try to push this area very shortly. He's relocating his units for it. So uh, these Ranger Squad actually sees a good portion of these units coming out. There we go, I see everything. So Super M60 took out one ROM and uh, does not take out the CV, but check this out. Thunderbolt coming in, side shot. One hit. Stunned the Thunderbolt, it was a wonderful trade because I would have never killed it. Even if I lose it, it's fine. And I kill his AS1 anti-air piece, and I live. It survived. So that was huge for me. I'm trying to chase that drop. This squad could have been really helpful if it sucked more. Would have killed the Super M60. Small kill to SPW. Rifleman 90, trying to move up. Got a whole bunch of recon squads moving up. There the monsters and are getting wrecked. Now I think that uh, I control most of this area. He doesn't have too much. I buy a CV for it. It's pretty much... Uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm in a good position because I killed a lot of good units. And I didn't lose much for it. And so it's a good time to buy a CV. Whereas he lost a lot of stuff. And he's not going to be able to hold it too easily. So I figure, okay, I killed most of the stuff here. I'll just bring the Super M60 over. As you can tell, our AA nets are... Mine is actually really, really minimal. Vulcan trying to fire at that. I didn't actually notice this one. SP... PMP2 autocannon firing away. Killing my units. He killed his LSTR pretty sim fast enough. Conkers killed uh, V150. Super M60 killing his vehicles, that's the whole point. TACOM gonna move into Foxtrot very shortly. My US Marines flanked in and around. Sierra on the field. Probably because you can see the M1A2, but I'm like, eh, let me back out. Maybe that's Super M60, but he missed because semi. Nah, no, he just missed his fire and forget. I sent my ASF after it. I was like, nope, you're not having it. Rom died to US Marines, so that was pretty good for me. I moved my Vulcan up to try to get that MI-25. I don't want it dropping its units off, but it did. I didn't realize that. 
I got a dab over here, I'm like, oh god, there's units. Can't let them near. I kill it, so that's pretty good for me. Lucked out. Like, oh, okay, infantry in the open, Vulcan, go kill it. Super M60 could be maneuvered, M1A2's firing. So I killed both of his ASF planes, so I'm not too worried about it anymore. US Marines fighting Special Deronotsky, and he concedes. So this is a match that I really should have lost. It, it favors more infantry focused play, but um, somehow I pulled it off. I got some good rolls, he got some poor ones, and uh, I think that the purchases, I made good ones compared to him. But yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.